What's up internet? This video we're going to be talking about the DOM. So, so far in this series we've talked a lot about the functionality of JavaScript. We've talked about how to work with methods, object-oriented programming, and all that other boring stuff. This video we're going to actually start talking about working with web pages, which is what the majority of you guys are probably wanting to do with JavaScript. A key ingredient to this is known as the DOM. D-O-M. Now, before we go into this any further, you definitely need to check out our sponsor, DevMountain. Are you looking for a JavaScript web development bootcamp? What about an iOS bootcamp? DevMountain offers classes online and in person with housing at no additional cost. Learn how to build real world applications and get a job in the industry through DevMountain's career centric program. Whether it's web development, iOS, user experience, or quality assurance, DevMountain has a class for you. Let them know I sent you their way and they'll give you $250 off the tuition. Link in the description. So, DOM stands for. Do what is it? document object model, which I totally did not forget. And basically this is a structural representation of your page. So similar in how HTML describes the page, the DOM is a structural representation of the page as well. We can programmatically work with the DOM and it will be shown inside of the web page in the browser. So one thing we've done before is document.getElementById. This is how you grab a particular element inside of the HTML. This is one way we can work with the DOM, but there are so many more ways that we can work with the DOM, and that's what we're gonna be talking about in the upcoming videos. You can consider the DOM to be sort of like boxes that are related to each other. Each of these boxes is known as a node, and a node can have child nodes. So this is the child node, this would be the parent node. Now these bad boys, <laughs> these are known as siblings. So they're probably gonna be fighting and all that other stuff siblings do, but we'll teach them how to get along. Basically, we can relatively reference nodes using a parent. So for example, if we have reference to this node, we can say node.childnodes, I think it is, and we can get access to these three. So it's this relative way of basically traversing through the structure of your web page. Now I planned this video out ahead of time and man, I was thinking I had all this juicy information to share, but I think I pretty much covered everything in, in that really short period of time. So what we're gonna be doing now is we're gonna start working with the DOM for the next section of videos. And yeah, that's pretty much it. It'll be a lot of fun. And uh, I was trying to think of a pun, but I really don't got anything. That's all, thank you guys, peace out.